All right, once again, we are live this morning here at Bristol Motor Speedway, kicking off an incredible weekend of racing action. So much happening, and we are so excited because this is such a great opportunity as well for Speedway Children's Charities to raise the money for such an important cause. We are here now with Betsy Holloman, and Betsy, thanks so much for joining us. Thank you for having me as always. Are you ready for the weekend? We are ready. We're absolutely ready to raise a lot of money. And this is one of those opportunities, of course, for Speedway Children's Charities to really step up and make this profitable for so many nonprofits that really rely on this funding. Absolutely, absolutely. This is our chance. You know, these people come in, they uh, are looking for the experience of a lifetime, and we want to be able to share a different story with them. Um, so we have lots of opportunity for people to donate. And that's one of the things I love is you guys are so creative and you come up with some really cool things for both the community and for race fans. And I know they always look it up to see all the different ways they can take part, have some fun, and of course raise some money. Yes, yes. We, we have had to become a little bit more creative over the past couple of years and so we're hoping that pans out for us this time too. And one of the things you guys do is really pull together some of those relationships with your drivers and with some of their teams to kind of come up with some cool stuff and you do some really neat auctions. So let's kind of start there. Yeah, we, we do have some great relationships with a lot of the teams and uh, people who've been, you know, supporters over the years. Corey LaJoy is actually our ambassador this year for Speedway Children's Charity. So uh, we started off with an online auction, which ended last night. We had some awesome bids, so we're looking forward to letting those people know they won today. Um, then we'll have two auctions on the Food City Fan Zone stage this weekend, one Saturday and one Sunday. Um, and so those are really great opportunities to catch some cool experiences that are not for sale. So some Packer car rides, some Victory Lane passes, um, and, and to be able to raise money for kids. And of course, taking people behind the scenes, of course, the dirt, such an incredible attraction this year. And you're giving people an opportunity to really get up close and personal and walk around and, and walk on that dirt. Tell us about that. Yeah, it seems like such a simple event, which it is, but it's just giving people the chance of a lifetime. Yeah. Nobody's going to be able to walk on this dirt unless you're a part of this dirt walk. So we'll open the gates at 8.30 in the morning on Saturday and allow those registrants and participants the chance to come touch it, feel it, stand on it, uh, all before the stars do. And I can't wait to see everybody's pictures because you know that's such an Instagram moment. It's yes. like here I am on the track, on the dirt, at Bristol Motor Speedway and raising money for such an important cause. Yes, come take your selfie. That mud color <laughs> yes. really makes you pop out uh -huh. so yeah come come join us <laughs> it's gonna be a lot of fun and then of course a lot of opportunities for people to just give with the the bucket brigade yes we have a couple of different options so red bucket brigade is what we like to say is our chance to pass the offering plate through the grandstands um, so we have some groups coming out they'll have on their red t-shirts and they'll be passing those buckets um, we've also got a change maker campaign going on and so that's really just your chance to give uh, because the story impacted your heart or because you know what it's going to. Anybody that donates over $50 receives a mini jar of dirt in the mail. Oh, I love it. So many great opportunities and of course raising so much money for so many organizations here in our area that rely on that funding. Yes, there is such a need. We are requested annually for about $1.5 million and one day we hope we can meet that need, but we haven't been able to yet. So um, if you feel a tug at your heart, want to give, uh, now's the time to do it. All right. Well, Betsy, thanks so much for joining us. Great to have you Thank here you. on stage and on the show. For more information on Speedway Children's Charities, you can always check out their website. So many events happening this weekend. We're going to take a break. We're back with more of Daytime Tri-Cities right after this.